they, they're a good physical, tough football team, and they, they kind of warn us a little bit more than uh, I thought they would. But they, they're well coached in the right spot. Um, I'm proud of my kids. They played really well today. Uh, they represent Breckenridge like any other longer day. And those, that, those are situations that haven't happened to us a lot this year. Um, yeah, it was very, very frustrating. The penalties. Anytime we had a good play, I mean, yeah, we had third down and I think almost 40 yards in one play uh, or one series. And that changes our whole offensive game plan, our whole scheme. Um, I thought we handled that well. I mean, good enough to keep the ball game late, but uh, the big, the big part of the day for us is we couldn't stop them defensively at all. They, they were just big and physical, and they just wore on us. Um, so if we could have got a couple of stops, we would have done. Played really well in the first half. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, probably shouldn't have thrown the ball out of our end zone. I tried to take a shot. Uh, cost us a little bit. Um, a tough fourth down run uh, by a good runner, and again, absolutely that sequence there. Six minutes changes the complexion of the game. Actually, I thought. We could move the ball against them, but we just weren't hitting our targets and we just didn't have good enough blocks to uh, sustain, the, uh, sustain the drive, yeah. Well, scramble I had, I got hit in the hip and it hurt really bad, but I got up and then I went to go throw the outside and I hit pop or something, and that's what really hurt. And we, we you guys keep bringing Sorry, that back up. Okay. Uh, that was tough here. No, um, you know, we, we've got a plan and we stick to it. Um, when you have Collins and Carter that were here that experienced that 0-9 season, just have them as leaders taking taking charge of stuff, handling um, just you know, the weight room, make sure everybody's there and doing what they're supposed to do in the weight room. Uh, I can't say enough about these two, but and then with my sophomores with them were up that year too. Um, you know, so good athletes coming through, but we've also got a process. And we've learned a lot as a coaching staff. Um, and we've, I'm hoping that we can move forward from here. I mean, we, we lose a great class of seniors, and today's all about our 11 seniors. We've got some nice pieces coming back for next year, and um, we also, in the last three years, we've had an entire game, extra season of games. And so that's, that's just time, um, time learning about football, so that should help. Probably not yet, can give me until tomorrow. No, it, it was fun, it was whirlwind. Um, just being able to go through this with these guys is, is, is great. Uh, I'm happy for them. Disappointed we couldn't get a win today, but uh, when we're hanging our banner in the gym, it would be time to celebrate. Feels amazing. No better feeling in the world. Wish I could have got the dub, but you know, it's a hell of a run. Uh, I'm just extremely proud of everybody on the team for pushing themselves and pushing each other and not giving up on one another. And that's just what got us here. So. Uh, everyone doubted us saying we couldn't make it to Ford Field, but look where we are now on Ford Field playing the state championship game. I couldn't be more proud of the team that I was on right now.